Hey, this is Kits and Snips, and today we will be building the high-grade Gundam Schwarzet from The Witch of Mercury. Now, just like the other Gundams from The Witch of Mercury, this has both an active and inactive form that can be applied through the stickers, so you do have to choose one of those forms before you start the build. For mine, I chose the active form, because that's just how I like my Gundams to be built for this series. There is only four runners, so it's a quick build, so let's just go ahead and get into it.
And here it is completed, the Gundam Char Rosette. It's a really nice kit, just like every other Witch of Mercury kit I've built. The plastic on plastic really shows that this kit isn't gonna fall apart. I really like that the back legs have kind of a landing gear that helps keep the unit steady. While you can have it as a normal foot, I prefer to have the landing gear back as it just makes it more stable. When you're looking at the height, you are looking at something that is just a little bit taller than your standard high-grade RX-78. It really is very just minute, and it's still a very nice-looking kit that'll fit in with all of your other high grades. And just like all of the other Gundams from the Witch of Mercury, this, instead of having the bit stave shield, instead has a very large sword that can break into multiple pieces. The first form of it being, of course, this giant club-like sword that he can hold without any issue in one hand. In addition to that, there is also a side panel that can open up that reveals a secondary handle that is also an attachment peg for this particular kit that he can use to hold onto the sword with two hands and have it act kind of like a blaster. The second part of this accessory is that it can be used in a variety of different backpack options. This first one, when it opens up, you get four wing type attachments that have a really nice active kind of vein into the sword that really hits the light very well. The second configuration that's shown in the manual is a little bit more symmetrical as it has two outward facing wings that again really show off that internal vein like system that really makes Witch of Mercury kits stand out. I also have the effect part attached to the sword which came with the kit as well as a nice addition. For the third configuration, they actually, instead of connecting all of them to the shield pieces, connect to the back plating in two different directions where the veins are facing forward on the top two, but facing back on the bottom two. And then you have the last form in the manual, which is the two pieces attached to the butt flap of this unit and accenting outward in an X-type fashion. Honestly, there's a thousand ways that these things could be hooked up to this, so there are a thousand ways that you can hook up these two pieces to the kit, so don't just go by the instruction manual and customize it for yourself. And just like the other Witch of Mercury kits, this has options that can be attached to action bases. I don't have any of the Witch of Mercury expansion set pieces available, but it'll even work with your traditional no-runner action bases. And that's everything. Honestly, the Gundam Schwarzette is an excellent kit, and I love it deeply. I like the giant sword, I like all the configurations it's got, I like the little sword that's on the inside with the effect part. Just about everything about this kit just exemplifies why the Witch of Mercury is such an amazing series for Gundam model kits. This plastic on plastic build isn't going to be falling apart anytime soon and will be an excellent addition to any and all high grade and just Gundam collections in general. The music today was brought to you once again by Upbeat, not sponsored with the song Como Rebi from BP Moore. As always, link to the music will be in the description below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I know these Witch of Mercury kits are kind of old news as the new C kits are coming out and the, of course, Build Diver kits are out. So it is old news. However, these are still great kits that I always will recommend going back and building 
as they come together so perfectly. So as always, if you enjoyed the video, leave me a like. If you have any questions about this kit, leave that comment below. I'm more than happy to answer questions. And of course, subscribe. I have a lot of premium Bandai kits sitting in my backlog just waiting to be built and waiting to be thrown on this channel. So as always, this is Kits and Snips signing out saying, have fun building.